Okay, this how-to video is going to show you the two different ways to root inside PCB Editor. So there's the, the active and the alternative mode and then the working layer. So if I'm in the add connect command, I've got this active and alternative layer. So if I select a pad and I start to root, if I was to double click and add a via, it would effectively swap the active and alternative layers. I then get a drop down to pick the multiple vias that I want to use. So a slightly quicker way might be to actually activate the working layer mode. So if we uh, if we just go to the to the options menu and we'll change this from ALT to WL, I can then go and actually activate the working layer that I actually want to swap and root on. You can have all the players and, and everything enabled if you want to. And then all I do now is I get an active layer at the top here. So when I start to, to select a root, I've got the pad, I've got one layer, I want to add a via, I double click to add the via, I then can pick which layer I want to go to. So if I want to go to the bottom of the board, I will then get the vias to the bottom of the board. If I want to go to um, inner two, but I don't want to use the default via that's defined, I can actually then select an alternative via and then that will give me the alternative via. And it's just a, a quick and easy way to kind of to root without having to use the active and alternative modes.